Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to expose the dangers of photo estimating. Why they can cost you time, money, and even your own safety. Stick around till the end to hear what a photo estimate might actually be good for. And I'd like you to tell me in the comments below how your estimating experience was. Google photo estimating dangers and this is what you'll come up with. Photo based estimates are a joke. Underpaid owners and unsafe vehicles doesn't show all the damage. Hidden dangers. Why you shouldn't rely on photo estimates. Consumers beware of photo estimates. Photo estimating. The worst kind of estimating. Actually, I made that one up. A photo estimate doesn't allow your estimator to open up the hood and get down and un look underneath your vehicle. <sighs> Can't even open the hood or get down and look underneath. Your estimator may need to pop that hood or take a look underneath in order to see the damage he needs to see to write a good estimate for you. When I do an estimate, I usually take over a dozen photos, sometimes even over 30 photos depending on the size of the job. <sighs> Hard to write an estimate from just a few photos. You haven't been trained to take damage photos, so it's gonna be hard for you to show the damage on the panel so that the estimator can write up his estimate correctly. Uh, I wasn't trying to take damage photos. Where even are the filters? Estimators take damage photos all day long. They know what they're looking for. They know how to take them. Sometimes they've even taken classes on how to take them, or they've just taken thousands and thousands and thousands of damage photos. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of experience to know where to look for the damage. Another really hard thing to capture in a photo estimate is the possibility for hidden damage. Bumper covers are flexible. They, they suck in, they damage what's underneath, and then they pop right back out. You may have some hidden damage underneath your bumper cover you didn't even know is there. Your estimator is going to know on this kind of vehicle where there's usually damage, where to look for, and he's going to know, oh, this bumper always you know, shows damage underneath of it. I should check there. One of the biggest dangers in photo estimates is the fact that you might have some damage to your vehicle that makes it not safe to drive. An estimator is the best person to tell you whether your vehicle is going to be safe to drive or not. You're not going to be able to see a cut tire in photos. You're not going to be able to see that your lights are out, that your alignment is off, or that your frame is damaged. You could be driving around a dangerous vehicle right now. Photo estimates can make your repairs take longer. There could be a part that you could have caught on your estimate, but you didn't. Now the vehicle's brought in for repairs, and your painter needs that part to paint, but he can't. He's got to wait two days for that part to show up when you could have got it on your initial estimate, ordered it ahead of time, and it could have been there waiting for your car as it arrives to the body shop. It can also take longer because you're waiting for the insurance company. When you've got your vehicle disassembled and you've got a photo estimate to work from, your supplement for all the hidden damage is going to be more, and it's going to take longer for the insurance company to process a larger supplement. It's going to take time for the estimator to negotiate with the insurance adjuster and for them to come up with a plan to fix your vehicle. Photo estimates put you in a group with all the other tire kickers. estimator is not as likely to spend the time necessary to write a thorough estimate if he knows you're just shopping around for a bunch of estimates and you're not serious about getting your repairs done yet. A photo estimate means less money for you. I went and it didn't take me long to find some estimates that we wrote at the front door here at the body shop. Then the insurance company went and wrote a photo estimate and you're losing thousands of dollars on some of these estimates. Not only are they saving a bunch of money because their estimate is lower, but now they don't have to send an adjuster out to look at your vehicle. So it costs even less for them to use a photo estimate. You're doing the insurance company's work for them, and they pocket the money. Photo estimates are not for large job. The larger the job, 
the more damage you have, the harder it's gonna be to capture that damage in the photos. The bigger your job, the more you just need to bring it into the body shop and have someone look at it. A lot of times it's best just to even get the vehicle disassembled ahead of time and then write your estimate afterwards. That way you can see all the damage. The larger the job, the more you're gonna miss by using a photo estimate. Photo estimates are not for what I call third party claims. That's where somebody hits you and they wanna pay out of pocket to fix your vehicle. So you go and get a photo estimate, the estimate's a little lower than like a regular estimate would be, then that person's like, oh yeah, I'll just pay for that out of pocket. Then the car gets brought in the body shop, disassembled, and guess what? They found a bunch more damage. And that puts you in a tight spot. If you're not planning on having your vehicle fixed and you just kind of want to keep the money and the damage isn't really that big of a deal to you, don't use a photo estimate to cash out on your repairs because we know that a photo estimate is going to bring you less dollars into your pocket. So I told you I would let you know what a photo estimate might actually be good for. Nothing. A photo estimate could be good for something that's just cosmetic damage. Something that's low impact and low speed and limited to one panel. It could also be good just for starting the claims process. If you just snap a couple of photos, send them to your insurance company, and they're going to be able to generate a claim for you and get the process started, then you'll be able to go to the body shop and they can take that claim number and your car and get started on the repairs quickly. Photo estimates are also good for convenience and speed. So if you just want to get things done fast, you want to minimize your trips, you could use a photo estimate to do that and then just drop your car off at the body shop and let them take care of the rest. The bottom line on photo estimates is they produce the worst estimates I've ever seen. They were developed by the insurance company to save money so they don't have to send out an adjuster and they get the customer to do all the work for them it also makes their estimates lower so they end up paying out less money. They were adopted by the body shop as a sales tool to get you in the door and get your business. F photo estimates aren't really looking out for you as a consumer. You don't have to be your own adjuster and your own estimator. This is why we have professionals with experience that have been doing this for a long time. If you go through the process without any representation from a body shop or an adjuster, it's going to make things a lot more difficult to you. There's going to be nobody there to explain that estimate to you and you're just going to kind of not really know what's going on to your vehicle. A photo estimate could be good in a few cases, but for the most part, you're going to want to go with the traditional way of getting an estimate from the body shop before you start your repairs. If you want to learn how to read your estimate, I've actually got a video on how to read an estimate. Link will be in the description. Please watch a few videos and subscribe to keep informed. Leave a comment or ask a question so I can engage with you. And like and share these videos if you think they might help the community. And I did this video for you today on the dangers of photo estimating because even good drivers have bad accidents. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna expose the dangers of photo estimate. A photo estimate, depending on the size of the damage, size of, size of the damage, size of the job. The bigger the damage, the, the bigger the job, have that part that the painter needs to paint your vehicle. Oh. So if you're, if you went to an, a body shop and had